Long before this man, 38-year-old James Gerard allegedly found himself leading Citrus Heights police on a chase in a stolen car. And before deputies say he crashed that car into a tree, taking off on foot through a Fair Oaks neighborhood armed with a handgun, eventually breaking into an older couple's home, which forced them to flee to safety, the older woman even jumping from a second-story window. And before the sheriff's office says that suspect stayed barricaded in the couple's home Sunday for over six hours, James Gerard had a number of run-ins with the law. KCRA 3 obtained Gerard's criminal history and incarceration record from the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation dating back to 2009 when he was sentenced to two years in prison for car theft after having prior car theft convictions. Gerard was paroled after serving a year and 10 months. In January of 2014, two months after his parole supervision ended, Gerard was sentenced to four years in prison for first-degree burglary, car theft, and evading police while driving recklessly. He was released to parole supervision a year and seven months later. In March of 2016, while on parole, police records show Gerard was identified as the suspect wanted in connection to the shooting and injury of an eight-year-old Concord boy. When police found him in Fairfield a few days later, he took off running officers, shooting and injuring Gerard during their arrest. Stemming from that incident, Gerard was sentenced to nine years in prison for numerous weapons charges. After serving five years of his nine-year sentence with a year and four months of pre-sentencing credit, Gerard was released on parole in June of this year. After Sunday's incident in Sacramento County, Gerard will face new charges of home invasion, felon in possession of a firearm, fleeing an officer, and elder abuse. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says it used less lethal weapon deployment and a canine officer during the arrest of Gerard early Monday morning. He's still in the hospital covering from bite wounds related to his arrest and he'll be booked into the Sacramento County Jail once he's out of the hospital.